Right, we had to have a little bit of a look at the, the biometal servo from Toki Corp in Japan. Right, the servo itself there, as you can see, weighs uh, 0.8 of a gram, so it's the lightest servo actually on the market. And uh, if you add this uh, JST connector in here, it's actually 1.1 gram. So of course you can get away with a little bit less weight if you decide to uh, cut the wires and hardwire it directly onto the receiver module. What we're going to do is do a, a little bit of a practical test. Uh, for the practical test, we're going to use the HFX900 transmitter and receiver module from Plantrico. Okay, this is in here. And we're just going to plug the um, biometal servo in and see how it works. What I'll do first is give you a little bit of a, a close-up look at the servo. Here we go. Okay, so there's the actuator. The and the electronics down here. All right, it's got a, a very, very thin profile. It's about three, three millimeters thick. So it's quite small and light, and you can, you can fit in just about anywhere. Okay, so we'll plug it in, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, just be, before we do, I'll just give you a look at the, the receiver module. Okay, so this is the receiver module we're using right here. There we go. You can see this one's got the, the JST connectors hardwired to the board. And as I said before, you can actually, um, if you wanted to, you can take them off and take the connector off the servo and solder them directly to the board. Okay, if you want to save a little bit of weight. All right, so I'll just plug this in here and we'll give it a test. Okay, here we go, we can see it's moving, the centering itself. Okay, and there it is working there. I'll just put this up on top of the uh, transmitter so you can see it a bit clearer. Here we go. All right, so you can see it's, uh, it's quite responsive for small movements even. It's moving in unison there with the with the gentle movements on the stick. And of course, if you do a full throw to full throw, there's not very much lag at all. It's quite responsive. All right, so there we go. That's the, the biometal servo from Toki Corp in Japan.